Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video we will be learning about the best resources for you to learn web development. Okay, there are a lot of resources available on the internet, some paid, some free for you to learn uh, web development and, and it gets really confusing which one should you actually choose. So in this video I want to share with you the 20 best free resources available online that you can use to learn these skills, you know, things like front-end development, back-end development, you can learn about JavaScript, you know, uh, the main frameworks, uh, React, Vue, Angular, all of these things in this video. Make sure that you watch this video till the very end. I will be talking about blogs, we'll be talking about videos, we'll be talking about podcasts, everything regarding web development and the best resources in this video. Make sure that you watch this video till the very end, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and now let me actually show you these resources. All right, now before I actually start, I just want to tell you that I am not like a guru in web development. It's only been a year that I've started learning web development. I know uh, like the basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and I am currently working on React. So that's just something for you to keep in mind. And also this, this is not an exhaustive list. This is just something that I have used. These are just resources that have helped me, but there can be definitely other resources that I might not have checked out, right? So that is just something for you to keep in mind. And now let's get started. Okay, now the first thing for you to just keep in mind is to just uh, go for uh, CSS tricks. Like if you want to learn just little things about CSS, uh, certain animations and how do you do them, right? This one will have a lot of articles that you can just read through. If you're the kind of person that, that likes to read things, uh, blogs and articles, you should definitely consider uh, checking out the articles at CSS tricks. They have a lot of those. They also have videos. So I think this is a great way for you to learn about CSS, just how do you make certain uh, you know styles and how do you make great websites. This will definitely help you out a lot. So uh, yeah, CSS properties, values, and like how should you use animations and other things like less and uh, other modern technologies in CSS are also discussed over here. So you should definitely check this one out. Now let's just talk about Mod Mozilla MDN. This is a great website that, that pretty much everyone should know. If you don't know, uh, you should really check this out. Like if you want to learn about like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, graphics. Yeah, you can also learn about networking, HTTP, HTTP APIs, uh, DOM manipulation and all that. You can learn it from this website. Again, if you're the kind of person that, that likes to consume uh, blogs and written content, you should definitely consider this. This will have everything that you would want to know about web development, at least the front end part. It has a really good collection of articles that you should check, check out. It discusses pretty much everything uh, about JavaScript and uh, you know HTML and CSS. So I think you should definitely consider uh, checking this out. This helped me out a lot in the beginning, but then I just discovered that it's better for me to just watch videos because that's just how I understand better things. But you should definitely consider, uh, you know, just taking a look at all of these things. They, there are tons and tons and tons of articles over here. So feel free to just tinker around and see which one uh, you would want to learn from. Now let's just go to the third one, right? So uh, the third one is what I've used a lot and that's W3 schools. Now the way that I use W3 schools is like whenever I want to do a one specific task, I would just search that and I would write W3 schools how to you know do something, some CSS trick that I want to see. I just do that and I come to this place, right? If I want to learn something like about uh, learn SaaS or like whatever technology I want to learn, I can just come in here and I, and I can just see actual uh, implementation. Like you can see a lot of examples that, that, uh, that you can use, right? So I think this is a great way for you to understand what uh, is happening and how is this technology being used uh, to create an actual practical, you know, outcome. So you should definitely consider taking a look at W3 schools. Okay. I know I'm going really fast, but I hope you'll all understand this. I have the links to all of these websites in the description. Uh, so do check that out and uh, let me know if there's any other resources that you would want to uh, use that you actually use. And so just help other people as well. Let's just go to dev.2.0. Now dev.2.0 is, uh, is a community of developers and uh, people can write their own articles and they can just publish it, right? And I think this is a great way for you to just stay up to date with whatever the latest technology is and how, uh, what are the latest trends and how is everything happening in the web development community. And not just web development, like pretty much uh, every, anything that you want to learn, you can learn 
from uh, this website using the articles that people have written right it has async away it can surprise you a lot uh, these are some pretty good uh, places for you to learn about experiences of developers that have been in the industry so i think this will uh, definitely be useful to a lot of you guys let's just say you want to learn about some react projects you can just search for And here you can see the, the five React projects you need in your portfolio, nine projects you can do to become a front-end master in 2020. Uh, this is a great website uh, for you to just read up on the articles and understand what you should be doing and then just go out there and make it happen, right? Now, uh, this is a great one, you should definitely check out. It has some podcasts as well that people recommend. So yeah, there's that. Now let's just go to another website and that's uh, you all might be knowing about this. This is just free code camp. Pretty much everyone knows about this. I am getting to the ones that not many people know about. So just, just stay patient, right? So free code camp is a great way for you to learn web development for free. So there are two ways that you can use free code camp. Number one is through their own website. They provide certifications. Let's just say I want to learn responsive web design. I can just click over here and uh, I can just take a look at their curriculum, what all they'll be teaching me. Let's just say I want to learn fill in, fill in the blank with placeholder text. I can just click over here and I can just try to solve this problem. It has the problem statement that you want to, that you have to solve and it gives you a little hints as well that replace the text inside your P element with the first few words. Uh, you know, like I hope you understand. This is just uh, for you to practically apply what all uh, you want to learn. And in that way, you can actually learn these things. You can click on get help, get a hint, watch a video, ask for help. This is really good uh, and I really uh, recommend all of you to check this out. And now the next way that you can learn from free code cam is by literally just going to YouTube. And over here you can just search for free free code camp and over here you can just go for like a web development or something. Yeah, right here. So you can learn about HTML, CSS and the good part about this is that they have like a really long uh, video lectures. So as you can see 11 hours, 2 hours, uh, like pretty much everything that you want to learn, you can learn it from uh, using these lectures. So if you are more of a visual kind of a person and you, and you can sit through long lectures uh, and you just want to just learn one technology in just one sitting, this is a great way for you to learn uh, from Free Code Camp, right? So you should definitely check out this. It has uh, pretty much anything that you want to learn. Bootstrap, SAS, uh, CSS. You can also learn about React, Vue.js, AngularJS. Pretty much whatever technology you want to learn, you can from uh, this YouTube channel by Free Code Camp. Uh, so yeah, definitely check this out. Next, let's just move to CodePen.io and I'll tell you why I'm considering CodePen.io. CodePen is basically a place for you to just uh, just you know, just experiment with your code and see the outcome. It has a live code editor, so you can do that. But you can also just search for uh, some some small, small tricks that you can use in your CSS. Uh, let's just say some grid layout or something. Pretty basic stuff. And it will give you a list of what people have done. Like, let's just look at this. This, this looks so good, right? And I can just look at how people are using this how uh, did that person make this happen by looking at the code and I can slowly understand how this has been implemented. So I think this is a great way for you to learn about just new uh, ways to present something visually. Uh, if you are a front-end developer, this will definitely be a lot useful to you. Uh, and you know, just in general, just understanding about how uh, these, these effects happen. You can just go through the CSS, you can look at the JavaScript that they are using, uh, try to just uh, tinker around with stuff try to change some values and see how, how it affects the website in the live mode. So do check this out. I'll leave the link to it in the description, by the way. Right. So that's one way for you to learn, uh, you know, web development. Next, let's just go to uh, YouTube again. And let me show you one YouTuber that has helped me out a lot. Brad Traversy, uh, his channel name is Traversy Media. You might have heard of him, right? So he makes a lot of videos talking just about pretty much anything regarding uh, front-end web development and like back-end as well. And recently he has allowed other developers to just come in and share their journey and share whatever they've learned uh, with us, right? So you'll see multiple projects like Hangman Game with, in React, real-time chat application in React and GraphQL. I think this is much better uh, than what he was doing previously. But anyways, uh, this will give you a pretty 
great overview of whatever you want to learn like you can see you have electron from scratch you have dino which is a recent technology uh, you have the grid layout right so pretty much anything that you want to learn uh, here you can see headless cms uh, strappy is something that he is teaching as well so you know like uh, just a few things that you want to pick up this is a great alternative to free code camp uh, so yeah there you go it also talks about like an animated counter or like how to become a self-taught software developer so I think that this uh, channel is definitely a lot useful to anyone who wants to just learn web development and wants to consume visual content. And uh, this one, uh, and he also has a lot of projects that you can just try out. Like look at this, Particle Effect with p5.js. This is a great way for you to learn about the the library p5.js. And uh, you know, just, just understand how things happen uh, in front-end development. So definitely check this out. Now let's just uh, go ahead and I've written a list of these people, uh, these resources. Let me just uh, tell you the next one that is DevEd. Now DevEd is more for like, if you want to uh, check out some design uh, stuff in web development, then you should check uh, his channel out. He has a lot of, uh, you know, tutorials just talking about design. As you can see, design and build a website crash course. Uh, it just talks about uh, what are the design fundamentals that you should be keeping in mind and he has a lot of these videos right where he's just making one website and you can just take a look at this and you can understand what good design means right great design in web uh, development is really important for you to create great websites that uh, if you are running a business that would actually convert from a normal visitor to a customer so there's that next uh, is actually someone that i have really enjoyed watching tutorials of uh, that is Web Dev Simplified. So Web Dev Simplified again, it has a lot of uh, videos uh, just related to software development and today we're going to web development as the name suggests. So you'll find a lot of just, uh, you know, portfolio uh, using React and, you know, just a bunch of uh, videos that you can just learn a lot from, uh, you know, and he also talks about the latest news like to Twitter hack explained that happened recently. Building a Zoom clone, this will help you out a lot. Like if you're building uh, your portfolio, this will be a great way for you to showcase what all you've built. So definitely consider this uh, channel as well if you want to just learn about uh, making projects as well, right? If you want to just make projects and learn about small, small things like use dev uh, in 11 minutes, use memo. You know, these are just some uh, small quirky things that you should keep in mind when you're making, uh, when you're learning a particular skill like React in this case. <laughs> right, so do check this uh, channel out. Now let's just go over to another one that I recently discovered and this really helped me tremendously. Clever programmer and I want to tell you about his live streams. So if you don't know, he has How? he's been doing a lot of live streams from the from the last two to three months, I would say. And it's like every week he does like one or two live streams in which he's building a complete, uh, you know, from scratch he's building a complete application. So uh, like. One day ago, he built the WhatsApp clone uh, and then he was doing some other work as well, like smile detection in Python, Instagram clone, uh, you know, other things like Slack clone is there, React Twitter clone, uh, and you know, just, just a bunch of uh, clones he's making in these live streams. And I think that making clones really gives you a lot of, uh, you know, overview of how great design uh, works and how the best, uh, you know, apps and uh, websites were made. So I think this will definitely help you out a lot. You will learn, uh, like I was actually building a, a Tinder clone using his uh, live stream. And I learned about how do you use uh, routing in uh, React, right? And I also learned about how do you make those React, uh, those, those uh, Tinder cards, how do you swipe them? I think that is uh, something that really uh, was amazing to learn. For example, you can just build a nav bar that uh, is actually used by Netflix. So I think this is a great tool for you to just learn about uh, how do you build clones of websites and uh, other apps as well. Definitely check this out. Next is, let, let's just go to us. Uh, now I want to show you this uh, channel, Anya Kubol. Uh, she, she's actually new in this, uh, in this complete industry and she's just been talking about how do you create games with JavaScript, right? This is the sort of field that she is in and she, is, she, she just talks about creating games using JavaScript. And I think that that is another great way for you to just learn about uh, how do you make certain things happen. And that will actually teach you a lot about classes uh, and you know just functions and how do you create these full-fledged applications, these games, uh, so as to say. So yeah, do check this channel out. For example, I actually did this T-Rex run uh, project and, and it definitely taught me a lot 
of stuff uh, so definitely consider ch checking out uh, her videos as well next let's just go to andy stokowitz so andy stokowitz uh, basically talks about uh, self-taught developers right if you are like most people are self-taught developers and he just talks about how do you go about this journey of uh, learning web development uh, as a self-taught developer like uh, it can be anything if you are learning python if you are learning uh, i don't know java or something you should definitely consider checking out uh, his channel he talks about uh, your mindset how should your mindset be when you're preparing for when you're just learning these things so you should definitely consider checking out his channel this talks about how do you be efficient while writing code and just be a great uh, developer while learning to code and so uh, definitely check his channel out right he has tons and tons of videos just to teach you how do you become a great self-taught developer even if you don't have a degree in computer science which uh, is really good that he's teaching that to a lot of people so definitely check out his channel if you haven't already next let's just go to ben award I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Uh, anyway, so Ben Award, uh, he talks a lot about uh, you know, just coding interviews and, and he uh, talks majorly about web development, right? So like he'll be making videos just talking about uh, recent developments and just, just normal debates and discussions that people have, like which one is better, AngularJS or like uh, Vue.js or something. You know, he has a ton of those uh, videos that you can see. The modern web, AngularJS, most dreaded framework of 2020. <laughs> anyway, so you can just look at all of these videos and learn about what's up and happening in the web development community. And I think he's a great web developer and he definitely knows what he's talking about. So yeah, do consider checking out his channel. Now let's go to Google again and I'll actually show you something different. I'll just search for front end, checklist, GitHub, right? So uh, if you don't know, there's this, this GitHub repo, which just talks about uh, how do you create a full-fledged, uh, highly produced website, okay? It talks about all of the things that you need to keep in mind when you're creating a great website. And I think this is really good for you because number one, you, not a lot of people talk about how do you create, uh, you know, like a, a completely produced website. People talk about how do you create a normal website when you're learning to code, how do you create a normal product? But uh, Having a full-fledged uh, production website means that you have to make sure that everything is optimized inside of that website. So it talks all about all of those things. How do you reduce, make sure that you have reduced the images, uh, sizes and all that so that, so, so that it is just easier to load. And SEO optimization, everything is discussed in this uh, checklist. I'll leave the link in the description for all of you to check out. It has a really long list of all of things that you need to keep in mind. You can just take all of these and you can move ahead. Uh, I have not logged in, so that's why it's not letting me do this. But as you guys can see, you can just pretty much just log in and you can just do all of these things. I think this will definitely teach you a lot of uh, great things about creating a full-fledged website. Uh, and so you should definitely consider checking this out. Next, let's just go to awesome, awesome React GitHub. Okay, so this uh, particular uh, GitHub repository uh, was good for me. You can also search for awesome Angular or awesome Vue, depending on what framework you're taking. But I feel that this really helped me out in whatever small part that, that I wanted to learn. I could just learn, uh, let's just say I wanted to learn about React testing. And then I can just go in here and I can just look at all of the things that I need to keep in mind. It has a lot of resources that you can uh, just read through or you can just watch a video. Uh, like look at this, Riot.js. A react like a 3.5 KB user interface library. I can just click on this and I can just learn about what this library is about. Right? This has a really extensive list of all of the things that are used in React by experienced developers. So I really uh, you know, encourage all of you to check this one out. Now let's just go back to YouTube. Okay, so if you are the kind of person that wants to watch some lectures, you should definitely consider checking out CS50's web development course. Uh, it has a bunch of lectures and where it just talks about all of the technologies that, that you need to keep in mind. It has Git, HTML, CSS, the basic stuff. And then it also goes into depth talking about Flask and uh, databases, SQL, and it also talks about uh, JavaScript and front-end development. It goes back to back-end development, talks about Django, and then it also has testing, which I think is really amazing. And not a lot of people talk about this. So it has uh, like lectures in testing as well. 
and at the end it also talks about scalability and security which uh, again are, re are really important when you're creating a full-fledged website so do consider checking this one out as well now let's just go to fireship so fireship is a youtube channel which, which just talks about these small technologies that you need to keep in mind before you are starting off with building your app so it just talks about docker in 100 seconds and like firebase the basics of firebase and all that pseudo elements pseudo classes uh, i really enjoy watching uh, the videos because they are really crisp and to the point and uh, that's just something that you can check out as well right now we have two more youtube channels, channels that i want to show you uh, i know this was more like a best youtube channels for you to learn web development but <laughs> you know, but like most of the free content is available on youtube for you to learn web development right and this person right here carl halden he just talks about uh, like productivity uh, as a web developer and he makes other like android development as well and now he's also into web development and android development so you should definitely check out his channel i really enjoy when he builds some projects uh, he also uses like python and all uh, to create some stuff and i really enjoy watching his videos they are more like uh, self-help plus uh, coding <laughs> this is something uh, different and not a lot of people do this so i definitely uh, like watching his stuff as well right now one last person that i want you guys to know about is joshua fluke now uh, joshua fluke is a youtuber who makes content related to how do you get hired as a web developer right and what are great job positions that you should be looking out for and what are the bad uh, positions that, that you should just definitely straight up say no to right like you can see over here indeed.com has a lot of like job openings for web developers and they have like some of them are like really really trash so you should definitely not fall for them and he does a great job just talking about how do you get hired as a web developer how do you earn a living uh, and so i think this is great for you to just understand uh, how do you behave in the industry so definitely check this one out as well he makes like tons of videos right and he just talks about uh, developer jobs uh, around the world right and definitely check this out i really enjoy watching his videos so yeah guys that was all these were the 20 resources that i have used myself and i would really recommend you all to use it as well let me know if there's one uh, resource that i have not mentioned in the comments uh, for, for everyone else to learn right thank you so much for watching and uh, again uh, i have linked all of these websites in the descriptions for you to check out so do check that out and let me know if you enjoyed this subscribe to the channel like this video and i will see you in the next video Bye bye